In this video, we'll explore algebraic equations, guiding you through solving them step by step. So what is an equation? They are mathematical statements that shows two expressions are equal. They differ from expressions as they contain an equal sign. Equations typically involve one or more variable. So let's break down the components of an equation. First, let's have a look at how an equation is made up of two equal expressions. An equation is like a balanced scale. Just as a scale has a left and a right side, so does an equation. Each side must be balanced, which means they must be equal. The left and right side are separated by an equal sign. Let's have a look at the variables. Any letter can act as a variable, not just x. Letters like a, b, y and z are frequently used to symbolise variables. Variables are the unknown values that we're trying to solve for. Then we have the numbers. In this equation, we can see the number 3 and the number 7. Number 3 is a constant, meaning it's a fixed amount added to x. On the right side, we have 7, which is the value that the left side should equal when we find the correct value of x. Variables and numbers come together through operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now let's solve some basic equations. I'm going to solve six simple equations now. If you'd like to have a go at solving these equations yourself before we go through them, pause the video and press play when you're ready. Here's the first equation, x plus 3 equals 7. To solve this equation, we need to find the value of x. To solve for x, we need to isolate x, or in other words, get it by itself on one side of the equal sign. First, I can remove the constant term by subtracting 3. So now I'm left with x. Anything that we do to the left side, we must also do to the right side, so we need to subtract 3 from 7. 7 take away 3 is 4. So the solution to this equation is x equals 4. Here's the next equation. x minus 5 equals 8. To solve this equation, we need to find the value of x. First, I can remove the constant term by adding 5. So now I'm left with x. Anything that we do to the left side, we must also do to the right side. So we need to add 5 to 8. 8 add 5 is 13. So the solution to this equation is x equals 13. Here's another equation. 9 equals x plus 4. To solve this equation, we need to find the value of x. Notice how the x is on the right side of the equation on this example. The equation's balance is maintained regardless of whether the variable is on the left or the right side of the equal sign. First, I can remove the constant term by subtracting 4. So now I'm left with x. Anything that we do to the right side, we must also do to the left side. So we need to subtract 4 from 9. 9 take away 4 is 5. So the solution to this equation is x equals 5. Here's the next equation. 
5x equals 20. To solve this equation, we need to find the value of x. In algebra, when a number and letter are next to each other, side by side, it implies multiplication. So 5x means 5 multiplied by x. First, I can remove the coefficient term by dividing x by 5. So now I'm left with x. Anything that we do to the left side, we must also do to the right side. So we need to divide 20 by 5. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So the solution to this equation is x equals 4. Here's the next equation. x divided by 2 equals 6. To solve this equation, we need to find the value of x. In algebra, division is normally represented using a fraction bar. First, we can cancel the division by multiplying x by 2. So now I'm left with x. Anything that we do to the left side, we must also do to the right side. So we need to multiply 6 by 2. 6 multiplied by 2 is 12. So the solution to this equation is x equals 12. Here's the last equation. x plus 7 equals minus 5. To solve this equation, we need to find the value of x. First, I can remove the constant term by subtracting 7. So now I'm left with x. Anything that we do to the left side, we must also do to the right side. So we need to subtract 7 from minus 5. Minus 5, take away 7, is minus 12. So the solution to this equation is x equals minus 12. Now it's your turn. Let's put your skills to the test with a straightforward challenge. Here is an equation. x take away 5 equals 11. Your task is to solve it and find the value of x. Let me know your answer in the comments section.